In the addition sum shown, each letter represents a different non-zero digit. What does X represent? This sounds like a bit of a mouthful, but we can break it up one set at a time. Non-zero just means anything but zero. And a digit is just anything that runs from zero to nine. So what zero, one, two, three, four, up to nine. We've already established it can't be zero. And what we're saying is they're all different. So all we're saying here is that the possible values it could be is one, two, three, all the way up to nine. We can actually immediately establish what A is. The reason being is because if we think about what this is saying, so this is saying SEE -E plus SEE. -E. So a number plus itself gives us a four digit number. So a three digit number plus a three digit number equals a four digit number. The largest that SEE -E could be would be 988. So if we did 988 plus 988, this is going to become, so 8 plus 8 is 16, so 6 right, carry the 1. 1 plus 8 plus 8 is 17, so carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus another 9 is 19. So the largest SEE -E could be is 988, and therefore the largest axes could be is 1976. That implies that A equals 1. If we look at the rightmost column, so this is E plus E is S. Okay, and we look at the column next to it. This now says E plus E equals E. Well, how does this make any sense? Well, in the same way it made sense when we looked at 988 plus 988. You see, when we did 8 plus 8 to get 16, we put the 6 down and we carried the 1. That 16 is really what we're really writing it as is 10 plus 6. And that carry 1 is actually a 10. So that carry one is this 10 over here being carried to there. Okay, when we then carry that one, we then did one plus eight plus eight, and now we got 17. So what we can recognize is whatever S is, E is gonna be one more than it. So we can say whatever S is, E is gonna be one more than it. So in other words, S equals E take away one right? We also know that E plus E is going to give us 10 plus S. A bit like how 8 plus 8 gave us 16, we wrote that as 10 plus 6. We can say E plus E is going to give us 10 plus S. If we use what we just found out here, so if we use the fact that S is E take away 1, and we sub that into here, we replace this S with this E take away one, we can figure out what E is, because this is gonna be written as 10 plus E minus one. And E plus E is just two E. So what we're saying is two E equals 10 plus E minus one. 10 take away one is nine, so this is saying E plus nine is two E. If I minus E from both sides, I now get that E equals nine. So now we know that E is nine, okay? We know that S then is gonna be eight, right? Because from this blue equation over here, S is E take away one. And now we figured out S and E, and we already know what A is, with, we can now figure out what X is. So all we're gonna do here is just rewrite this equation with S and E, so this is going to be 8, 9, 9, plus 8, 9, 9. 9 plus 9 is 18, so carry the 1. 1 plus 9 plus 9 is 19, carry the 1. 1 plus 8 plus 8 is 17, and therefore what does X equal? What's well, this value here, which is 7.